Let's join this Windows 8 machine up to our Windows 2012 domain. Now, I've seen a lot of comments with people having problems trying to join their computers to the domains. I think the main problem I've been seeing across the board is people don't have their DNS settings set correctly on their Windows 8 machine. It's not pointing to the DNS server, so it doesn't know how to resolve that domain name. So the best way to do this is to, let's go ahead and run uh, PowerShell, or you can run Command Prompt, whatever you're comfortable with. Let's do an IP config sw switch all. And the main thing you want to look for is this right here, DNS servers. You want to make sure that it's pointing to your server. If it's not, set it statically and then join it to the domain and you should be good to go. Um, another thing you can do is try to ping the server. Ping the king. I can it will resolve to that. You can ping the domain name. Not ping not creative dot internal and it resolves so this computer should join the domain no problem now how do we do that with Windows 8 well if you just hit the start button and you type domain go over here to settings or if you're back over here let's say you're back over here again you can hold down your hotkey here to be Windows W and it brings up the settings search and you can just type domain and hit enter since it shows join a domain right there and uh, rename this computer. Let's change it. We want to join. Oops, not creative. Now you could just leave it like that. It'll, it'll, it knows that you want to go not creative dot internal, or you could type dot internal, and hit OK. And it wants credentials for that. Uh, what is my? Oh, you know what? I still have just the administrator. And uh, let's see, is that the password? Yep. Uh, we're joined to the domain. It's going to want to restart. So I'll restart it real quick and uh, double check. Once it's back up here, you'll notice that you can, by default, it wants you to log back into the local computer, wh whatever was logged in last. We don't want to do that. We don't want to log back into that. We want to log in as a domain account. But first, I want to create a domain account real quick because I really don't want to log in as the administrator. Shouldn't need to ever. Um, so what we want to do is just create a user account real quick. I want to create two accounts. I like to create myself a just a standard domain user account and then an administrator domain admin account that I can elevate to when I need to. So let's see. I am in the Illinois hospital in the basement in the basement in information systems. So let's right click, let's do a new user, name this one Chris Davis, login name C Davis. Next, put in a password. Oops. I don't want me to force that. And password never expires. Next, finish. Now I want to create a domain admin account. Actually, yeah, let's do it this way. Oops. Davis admin. Then we do C Davis admin. Next. Password number expires. Finish. Let's look at our two accounts. So what I'm going to do here. Let's add this user to the domain admins. And I could do enterprise admins and all that stuff, but I'm just going to roll with domain admins at the moment. That should get us where we need to go. If I need to, I can add add it to some other accounts. All right, so now that that's there, let's log in with other user. And to, to log into the domain, make sure you, um, well, by default, it is switching over to the domain to log in. So I'm just going to go to C Davis. And yeah, there we go. It's going to go ahead and log in. All right, so we're logged in here. And um, we can verify that by, let's do Windows W. And since I know domain will get me where I need to go. I'm just going to domain. And we can see here domain not creative dot internal. So and we can also notice that and just just another side note, this underscore WDS, that's where I'm going to want all my computers that join a domain. I want them to go there by default when they join a domain. Right now that's not happening. If we go into computers you can see that's the client PC. That's the name of this computer. 
is dumped in there by default. We'll work on that later on. That's going to be another video in the future. But uh, for now, just know that we need to move it over here. Just in case there's group policy objects or any kind of group policies being applied, we need to make sure they're put over there. So, or the machines put over there. So, that's joining a Windows 8 machine to a Windows 2012 uh, domain.